Visit a lab at Purdue University and you just might find a team of students discovering and refining a new use for soybeans. For the past seven years, the Indiana Soybean Board has sponsored a new uses contest at Purdue. It's a tremendous uh, program. Uh, our farmers uh, appreciate it. Uh, they, it always shows soy in a very positive light, a very innovative, creative standpoint, and they're extremely appreciative of it. In addition to that, it's a tremendous benefit to the soybean uh, board and the soybean operations in the country because now you have a student who's bright and capable out there who is a champion for soybean utilization in industry. For this year's competition, one team of students developed a plastic made using soybean oil. Called Soyastic, it's a plastic that could be used in home craft projects. The other Purdue team, with three senior students, hit on the idea of using soybean oil to help lower home heating costs. This one, it just seemed really practical, the, the uh, use of uh, soy oil for heating. It, um, it, it could uh, lower the cost of heating. It can do a lot of different things. Their development and testing of a new product, a blend of 20% soybean oil with 80% traditional heating oil, won them $4,800 and first prize in the Indiana Soybean Board's 7th Annual New Uses Contest. At the moment, with the economy, our product is more economical for use. It's less expensive to make. Uh, it's also more environmentally friendly. I guess right now with uh, high oil prices and uh, instability um, in the Middle East, um, we thought that maybe trying to find a way to not rely so much on foreign oil and maybe use domestic products would be a very good idea. The students' research found the soy-based heating oil performed well and if it caught on could use over 200 million bushels of soybeans each year. A new use opportunity soybean farmers can get fired up about. I'm Brian Baxter reporting for Ag Day.